Bill. Forty thousand dollars. Last race, last photo of the season. This is the calm before the storm, man. What's happening? How you feeling? Uh, Car look good. Nervous, jacked, pumped. All of them at whatever you want to call it. All of them at the same time. Yeah, it is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I don't know that uh, you're gonna race UTVs anywhere other than Texas likes that kind of money. So That's pretty freaking cool, man. Well, good luck, dude. Thanks. Yeah, buddy. Today we're at Tex Flex Motorsports Park. Let's go see what's up. Morning. How are you guys doing? Better now, bro. Good to see you. Right? How's it going, man? Good. How are you guys doing? Very good. You got this new whip. Got the new whip. This, this is, is all Honda. Low, low right. Ronda? Ronda the Honda. Ronda the Honda. And that's Wanda. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look what we've had. Shelby Anderson. What's up, girl? Beautiful, hot, humid Texas. Yeah, but it's fun. This track is sweet. So awesome. Right. I rode it yesterday for the first time and it was insane. Brought me back to my Lucas roots. And Hell yeah. Who knows? Might be back here. Sweet. All right, let's watch some racing. Man, we got a pretty stacked field today. Got Cody Miller right there, the yellow car. Kyle Hart, the white car right there. It's dad legend, Marty Hart. Yeah, buddy, we got some more badass drivers down here on the end. We got uh, our buddy Cody Bradbury, Elliot Cook. These guys are gonna be giving them hell too. Good man, yeah, good job. Thanks, thanks. You guys were smoking out there. How was it? Like the track's really tough. Very technical. It looked like it was kind of bumpy. Yeah, it's, it's not that it's so rough, but it's just dry and easy to make a mistake on. So you can't overdrive it. Uh, super conservative driving today. He's taking it. Hunter had a second place going into the first corner, and then he he made a pretty aggressive move on Zach Beavers. Yeah, I saw that at first, and uh, I was back in fourth. And, I made a, pretty, a couple of pretty aggressive moves in the first lap to get up to uh, up to second, and then Hunter Hunter was on rails. I couldn't catch him, but I wasn't losing ground on him, so we just kind of stayed yeah, that. You down. guys were definitely hauling the mail out there. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm sure that uh, our times are good. Our Maxxis uh, Maxxis SC1s are absolutely hooking up out here on this dry slick hard pack. Those things look pretty good. So. As far as the championship goes, you got one moto down today and you got the last moto. What's the point situation? Yeah, I'm down four points, so if I win the next one, win the overall, Kyle needs to be third or worse, you know? So, God, that's uh, a barn burner, right? It is. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm pumped up, though, man. I'm so Dude, excited. Like, you guys drove like you were pumped up, too, uh, man. It's been a long time since I've been fighting this hard for a championship, you know? And uh, Yeah, but how rad is that, though? That's so that's, cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, forget the money, forget the purse, all that. Yeah. So racing out here in Texplex is on another level. Intense. Yeah. It is cool, though. And plus, the track, dude, would, like, we were talking earlier today, the track, like, you're sending it off some of those jumps big yeah, time. Yeah, no, I mean, everything out here is, uh, you know, 80 mile an hour plus. So, uh, but it's got a lot of technical turns. So, like I said, it's easy to overdrive stuff and make a mistake. But that's uh, that's what makes it fun, you know. Yeah. The, the good drivers, the good setups really shine out here, even though there's nothing per se uh, really tough obstacles, but the track conditions itself. Well, it still looks like you got to really put in the effort to drive, though. Absolutely. But it's, it's one of those things where if you put in too much effort, it's easy. Out, you know, yeah. So it's, 
Yeah, the track will get you. Oh yeah, absolutely. So well, they're about to throw some water down. We're gonna keep a close eye on track conditions. You guys did awesome, man. I can't wait to see what happens in this next moto. One more to make all the money. All right, boys. All right, so we got a new uh, Honda Turbo entering the Pro Turbo class. Pretty cool out here at Texplex. We got uh, driver Elliot Cook. What's up, dude? How are What's you? Up, man? Good, thank you. Thank you. Dude, this thing looks pretty sick, man. You guys did a good job. Can you take us through it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it's been a long build. Uh, I say long, but you know, a few months we've been working on it, and um, it's a uh, turbo Honda Talon. Yeah. And definitely short course setup. It really does. I mean, it looks cool, though. It looks like it was pretty competitive in that first moto, too. Yeah, yeah. It was my first moto of Pro Turbo, and uh, we hole shot it, led for a lap, and uh, finished third. So can't go wrong with that. I'm really happy with that with a new car. I mean, all the bugs are still getting worked out. Looks like Travis Travis Pointer helped you out a little bit. My man Travis Pointer right here. I mean, it speaks for itself right there. The car does look really good, man. Got the lid still in here. Got the freshie. Got a freshie on there representing my boys at Honda. Nice. Can't let them down. Yeah, definitely. I want to thank all these guys. You know, I mean, we got J Sport and um, um, you know Jeff Proctor and Adam there help out a lot. Travis and Crash Addicts. All do all good dudes. All too. good dudes. My boy Blake here with uh, G3 Motorsports. Without him, I couldn't do this. So. Yeah. I'm super happy, man. Uh, car ran good. Looks like you took a little bit of weight off of it. Yeah, just a little. Just a little. This thing looks really good, man. You guys did a great job. I think we're gonna take the Honda Talon to Crandon maybe this year. So Dude, we'll kick some butt, we'll Elliot. All right, man. Thanks so much for showing us your rig. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Cody Bradbury, dude. What's up, man? You're ripping. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a little bit different than last time. We were uh, we weren't even competitive last time, so made a bunch of changes. Um, PPEI actually took my car home after the last round and did a few things to it. So just trying to uh, trying to get it back to where it needs to be. Um, definitely, definitely different style of racing, so you gotta have a It really car. is, it looks like it's just pinned. Yeah, you're, you're pretty much wide open, and the, the difference here is you gotta have traction, so no matter how fast your car is, if you can't make it, if you can't make it stick, it's not gonna go anywhere, and that's what I was struggling a little bit with this time even. It looked, so, well, it looked like whatever changes you made definitely made it a lot more competitive, yeah. because. Yeah, oh, I'm night and day. I yeah. probably dropped 10 seconds a lap from last time, honestly. So, really? Yeah, it's been uh, been huge. I can't thank PPEI enough. They uh, they took the car and got it all dialed in. And, um, Did a good job, that's yep, for sure. Yep, how do you uh, how do you like racing out here at this uh, Texplex? I, I love it. We're trying. Uh, we're pushing to come here next year. So it's looking like we'll be uh, we'll be out here racing this series next year. It looks really cool. It's like yeah. way more moto, right? Way more moto, and you can pass. And, you know, you don't have to beat your car up to get by people. You can, you know pass without touching and do slide jobs and all that stuff so it's definitely different for us but uh, it's definitely way fun well you did a good job man you were ripping out there so uh it'll be neat to see you here next year if you can come out here and i'm excited to see what happens i heard that the uh championship bonuses next year might even be doubled what it is yeah now. so they're they're trying to do a few things here and then even another series in oklahoma so we're uh we're doing our we're doing our best to come to come out here and race uh, it's it's fun it's a little bit easier on the cars and it's a more of a setup and, and you got to be a good driver so well dude you just got done with a, a moto or a race and your car is still pretty mint yeah no it's it's super nice it, it's a nice wash uh to wash it off it's yeah thick, so cleans it up better. right all right yeah. homie well thank you very much we really appreciate you did an awesome job no problem thank you holy smokes look who i ran into yeah yeah no race car today no man we got the rental today we got a radio roof we got an ice chest on the and back. you got your old school partner in here shane bringing it back throwing it back one time partner in crime that's right. So what do you guys think about this track? Dude, I checked it out. It's got sick jumps. Yeah, so we're out here at Texplex, man, and this is the big race, the last race of the year for the 40,000, and these boys are bringing the heat. But the track is amazing, man. They prep it so good. You can bomb the tabletops, bomb the doubles. It's just a fun track to be at. It really is, dude. It looks badass. And you got the American lights, too. Right, you got to represent. You got the stock, stock car. All stock car with an ice chest. It's even got waters back there. Monsters Does it really? Cool. Yeah, help yourself. Take whatever you want. <laughs> How rad is that? Racing with the ice chest, dude. Still clearing the jumps? Bro, yeah. Still got, got the LED. Got the jams. We're still bombing it, right? Dude, heck yeah. You got the setup. All right, man. Well, I'm glad you guys are out here having a good time. We appreciate it. And good luck to you guys at uh, all the stuff you're doing in 2021. Thank you so much.
thousand dollar championship bonus. Should be pretty good. We'll see what happens. Man, so Kyle Hart's out first. And Hunter's right behind him. Obviously Cody. Cody's been ripping all weekend too. Got Elliot Cook coming back. Did a hell of a moto, bud. Yeah, it was freaking awesome. Dude, you did awesome, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. You get a nice cold one now? Yeah, just victory is ours. Dude, it's it's really, really cool to see the side-by-side -side stuff growing, man. And you guys are on the forefront of it. It's, it's badass. It's a blast, man. I can't be more happy. Hunter and I knew what we had to do out there and we did it. I mean, I think we, we only got this championship by one point, so. But that's fucking awesome, dude. Congratulations to Kyle Hart. He smoked us in that last moto, but we knew where we had to finish and yeah. we couldn't be happier about it, you know? Dude, even your guys' like, thought process with the Joker lane and everything worked out good. Yeah, yeah so. we definitely talked a lot about this whole deal before we went down and it went down just perfect, so. You guys I did an awesome job. Cars are awesome. All of our sponsors this year, all the boys, right? Can't say enough about Texplex, man. Texplex has got a sweet racing it series. It really, going on really here. is, man. It's Boy, bar to bar. You did an awesome job this Thank weekend. You. I'm gonna talk to your brother too, man. Killer Thank job. You. How's it feel to have the top three, bud? It's, uh, it's nice. It's good. It's real good. It's man. real good, man. These guys drove like animals out there. It was pretty you know, sweet. We've been working hard developing this tire. This is this is kind of the pinnacle for us. So it really is. Stoked. And the amount of competition that these guys threw down today was intense. You know, the, the leader back and forth was incredible. I it just really wish I could was. have seen it back there. Yeah, go down there and watch. Yeah, yeah. You guys are doing an awesome job, Mike.